Hello and welcome. Today I want to start with the first of a series of short posts that are going to be about identity. Now we all have some sense of who we are and um, so what I wanted to look at was various aspects of who we are and how we identify ourselves. So the first one that I want to look at is our names. Now I'll give you mine for a start. I'm Iris Whitelock and what's in that name? The name I was given was uh, by my mother who had a piano teacher called Iris Loveridge who she really loved and admired and so I was called after this very artistic person who uh, played the piano beautifully and um, was a great mentor to my mother. The second name, White Lock, is, uh, we think, derived from the White Locks in, uh, you know, where, they, where the, the canals meet at different levels. So the White Lock in Yorkshire, I think it is. So uh, that goes back, you know, a lot of generations to that. It could also be because a lot of the children had white or very blonde hair. So in terms of being identified with a name, it was only in my late teens that I discovered that Iris was actually the goddess of, um, of the rainbow. So she's, she was considered, she's a Greek uh, goddess and she was considered to be the messenger between the heavens and the earth so between the gods and the mortals and one of the things that's been very interesting is how in terms of my life where I've been integrating the various areas of my life there's lots of things I'll talk about those later but one particular thing has been um, uniting spirit with the physical and that to me seems to be embodied in that uh, sense of the goddess as the messenger between the two um, two areas. So um, that's uh, part of what I bring into the work that I do is helping people to connect with uh, the spiritual and the physical and emotional, bring those things together to integrate so that they have a sense of who they are, a more solid identity that they can then build skills on. So the most important part of our who we are is um, how we understand ourselves, the kind of person we are, um, where we, we can be sure when we make a decision that we can deal with the consequences, for example. You know, not everybody can make, we don't always make all the time a good decision on things. Um, there are always consequences, whatever decision we make. So that's an example of how um, having a good understanding of who I am helps me to navigate uh, things like decisions. And of course, that extends to relationships, um, how I communicate with people, what I choose to say and not say. So um, I'll talk about some of those um, aspects of, of our identity later. But thank you and uh, I hope this has been useful and uh, promoted or um, encouraged some thought on your part about your name and how, how it is significant for you. In what way um, are you... Because usually... You know, when our names are given to us, there's some thought that's gone into that. Sort of why was that particular name chosen? So it might not have been exactly what my parents thought of when they chose the name Iris, but I have created uh, myself with that archetype. So um, I encourage you to think about your name, the, your given names, and if you have changed your name, that's interesting too. So um, just put a couple of comments underneath, if you like, some reflections about your name and, and how you felt uh, you gr have grown into it perhaps or that you don't like it or um, just what it means for you. Okay, and I'll talk to you another time. Thanks. Bye.